I don't mean to be rude, but everybody has a limited amount on this life. But if you are trying to teach everyone something, then everyone's going to pass away soon. So what's the point? What's your name? Agna, this question that you asked is the first and most important question a human being can ask, which is why it made me so sad to hear Sadhguru tell you that your question is not relevant. I assume Sadhguru is implying that your question is not relevant because he's not trying to teach you something for a thousand years which would go beyond your lifetime, but even if he is trying to open up a dimension, whatever that means, enlightenment or whatever, I don't know. What's the point of that? Agna, your question still applies and is relevant. No matter what we do in this lifetime, what's the point? What's the point of eating and what's the point of sleeping? What's the point of going to school and what's the point of learning? What's the point of opening up a dimension in you, as Sadhguru says? What's the point of praying? What's the point of loving? What's the point of having meaningful relationships? What's the point? What's the point of all that we do in life? Because in the end, we are going to pass away. That's your question, and said Guru didn't answer it. But if you give me a chance, I will answer it. And I think that you already partly know the answer because by your question, I think you understand that if there's nothing after we pass away, then there truly is no point to this life because this life will just come to an end. What would be the point of that? But I think you believe that there is a point to life, that there is a point to your life, and that it's not pointless. And what about the life of your mother? Is that pointless? All her hard work, loving you and taking care of you, was it pointless? If not, then there can only be one reasonable answer to your question, which is there is another life after this one, right? There has to be, because there has to be a point to this life. And the point of this life is to prepare for the next life, the true life, to prepare ourselves and to help others prepare for it. It's like a baby in her mommy's tummy. What's the point of that? to grow and to get ready to be born, to come out of mommy's tummy into this world. For only a temporary period of time, the baby is inside of a tiny world, her mommy's tummy, where she can't see anything in this world. But then after nine months, she is born into this world and everything becomes clear. We are like this baby. We are growing in this small little world. We can't see the next life, but when we die, we will be born into the next world. So Agna, if we can agree that there is another true life after this life, and if we can agree that the purpose of this life is to prepare for that other life, which will be forever, then the next question we have to ask ourselves is, what will happen if we do not prepare ourselves? Some babies, when they come out of their mommy's tummy, they die because they came out too early. They weren't big enough. They didn't grow enough. They weren't ready. We also need to be ready before we pass away for that next life. So how can we prepare and be ready to pass away? That is a question for another time. But for now, I want you to always remember this smart question that you've asked because the Christian saints, and I know you're not Christian, but the Christian saints say that this question, this thought of remembering that we're going to pass away is the first thought that moves us in a spiritual direction toward the truth, the truth that there is life after death, the truth that we must prepare ourselves for heaven the truth that there is a true loving God helping us get there. Agna, don't let anyone tell you that your question is not relevant. It is the first most relevant question. And may the maker of heaven and earth, the sea, the earth, and all that's in them, the true God, Jesus Christ, bless you.